Hello, I am Brandon Bonderfer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System, and I'm absolutely delighted to take the next few minutes and talk to you about our academic planner and why it's important to your academic success and career potential. See, we built a digital planner that's going to work across a slew of different devices, Windows, Apple, and Android. Everything from your iPad to your Samsung tablet to your desktops to your laptops and even some e-ink devices. We built this digital planner with the idea of being a paper-like experience. Through decades of research, we've learned the art of writing on paper your thoughts, your ideas, to take lecture notes, to take down classroom activities, plan out your different assignments. There's something about when you physically write out your thoughts and ideas, there is more retention in your memory block. And that is why this digital planner is so important to your future. See, we built this digital planner so that you can use it across several different apps. You can use it on OneNote, GoodNotes, NoteShelf, Nobility. You can even use it on e-ink devices like the Remarkable 2. And what makes this planner so adaptable is with programs like OneNote, it can synchronize across all your Windows, Apple, and Android devices. If you are someone that is in love and enthralled by the Apple ecosystem, a program like GoodNotes will allow you to synchronize this planner across your iPad and your Apple desktop. And there's tons of other applications like Penly that'll help you on the Android platform. Our planner works with all of those. Today, we're gonna to show you our academic planner and some of the tools that we've built in it to help advance your career success. We're also gonna show you our tiles. These personalized elements are gonna allow you to customize your planner. So if you're using our planner or another planner on the market, you can still use our educational tiles to personalize your layouts. So guys, without further ado, let's get into digital planning. All right, so when we get into the academic planner, the first thing I wanna reiterate is the fact that this academic planner works across a slew of different devices and applications. So if you are a Windows user, Apple, or Android user, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this video because we're gonna show you a couple different applications like OneNote and GoodNotes, and those applications work seamlessly across several different ecosystems. There's also other applications that work across different platforms as well. And if at any time you guys have any questions about your devices and which application is gonna work best for you on our planning system, go ahead, check out our website, keytosuccessplanner.com and jump on chat and somebody there will help you and guide you through the process. There's a lot of opportunities for you to find success with our system and we are here to help you. And by please, by all means, please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you wanna hear more about tech reviews regarding digital planning and productivity, or if you wanna learn more about how you can customize and further your success with digital planning. So first and foremost, we're gonna show you the planner using OneNote, we're gonna show you the tiles that allow you to customize it, and then we're gonna show you how the same planner works on a PDF application like GoodNotes. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So first off, this is what OneNote looks like. And what we did with OneNote is we created a planning system that is a notebook inside the actual OneNote application itself. Now, if you are using a Surface Pro or a tablet with a stylus, different looks and feels to OneNote appear differently across different devices. For example, this is the iPad. It looks slightly different on a Windows machine and an Android, but the templates that we've designed look and feel and work seamlessly across all of those different interfaces that you can work with when it comes to digital planning. Now, first off, when we look inside the planning system, you're gonna see you're gonna find templates, notes, a campus center, and then areas for your scheduling when it comes to fall, spring, and summer semester. Under templates, you're gonna find you're gonna have notes, habit tracker, budget sheet, goal sheet, meeting sheets, project, assignments, class notes, and your semester schedule. Now you can easily, in this app as well as other apps, go ahead and just copy that, and that'll allow you to copy those pages and put them into different segments of your planner. Now when we look at the Campus Center, that's where we're gonna get into the nuts and bolts of being able to develop your year. Planning, what is your plan for the year when it comes to your professional plan? What is your progress so you can track it throughout the year? What is your vision for the year and how are you gonna embark? What are some of your annual keys? 
in your bucket list for this year as well as for next year. What are your goals for the year? And then what does your schedule look like in each of the respective semesters? And then when we get into each semester, you're going to find that there's going to be a spot for class notes when it comes to note taking at your individual lectures that you're having, as well as any of the assignments you're going to have throughout the year. And then you can see the individual monthly planning. So here you can see July, you can see the habit tracker for this month to track any fitness, personal development goals that you might have, as well as a place to track your budget. And then you can see there's a place for you to plan out your week so you can be ready for the things that are going to matter most for you. And we have a whole training series on how to use this page underneath our training and resource tools of our website. And from here, you can see we have a weekly planning page so you can break down what your goals and aspiration and tasks are for the week. And that pattern follows itself throughout the year. Now, one thing that's really exciting about using OneNote, let's just say I have a class assignment or I have a class note. I can take this class note and I'm going to change it to class note and I'm just going to put here bio. And then from here, I'm going to click and hold on this and hit copy link to page. And I'm going to go into my actual planner. Let's just say on August, the week of the 14th at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday, I have that class. Now what I can do here is I can click, hold and hit paste and that'll put a hyperlink actually on the page. What this is gonna allow you to do is kind of get ready for your week. If you wanna be able to keep a calendar of your different classes and different projects and activities you have, but you wanna have the ability to quickly access your notes, now inside the planner, I can click on that. It's gonna allow me to open it and it's gonna take me right to my class notes section to that page. This is gonna allow you to track your notes and be able to connect your notes to your actual planner as well as any other segment of the planner using hyperlinks. Now, I talked about different ways to customize your planner and what we did this year is we created a student education style. And you're gonna see here we have some examples of the class notes which we already talked about. But if we go under background here, you're gonna see that we have these tiles. They're everything from note tiles, the tiles that help you track your goals, what your roles are, your objectives, any planning, sketch boards that help you think through different thoughts and ideas, mapping out the next four weeks, 14 days, and the different tasks and assignments as well as tasks and projects that you have in your plate. And then with that, we also have a spot in here where you can track your lecture notes, assignments, and again, more tasks. What's so cool about this is here we provide you an educational template. And you can see right here we have an example of a tile. Now I can take that tile and I'm just gonna delete it. I'm gonna come back here and say, well, I want to take some notes for a particular class. I'm gonna click on that, hit copy, go into the tile itself or the template. And here I'm gonna paste that. Go ahead and put that right here. And then what I wanna do is I wanna personalize that a little bit. Uh, I wanna be able to, any assignments that came out of that class, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this tile here. And again, this, what this allows you to do is really to create your own personalized planner. So, and then the last thing I wanna do is I wanna have a spot for a recap of what came out of that day or that class period. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose uh, just a quick uh, sketchboard so that way if there's any doodling or any thoughts that come to mind during that class, I have a place that I can kind of put down those thoughts and ideas that are not directly in our note sections. And what that does, that gives me a personalized tile that now I can utilize. Now, if you're using our daily planner and you don't want to use a week-to-week -week planning system but you want a daily planning system, this student's tiles will be great for you because it's gonna allow you to take everything about the academic planner and bring it into your daily planner. So I can go ahead and I can copy this educational tile that I just created, hit copy, and I'm gonna go back to my actual planner and I'm gonna to go to the month of August. And now I copy that in there. If I go back into the month of August of my daily planner, you're gonna find that that particular education tile that we just created is now on that page. 
I can click and hold and I can drag that to the respective week and I can even make that a sub page if I chose to. So now on the 21st, I have my daily planner so I can track all my daily activities, but now I also have that tile here. And now you can take those tiles, as you can see, we have other tiles. One tile that I find that's really helpful for those that are education, that are taking a lot of notes, is the Cornell tile. What the Cornell tile allows you to do is take the concept behind that note-taking system and utilize it to personalize your note-taking ability. So I'm just gonna go ahead and you can get this tile as well. I'm gonna copy that tile and jump back into my education template that I had before and I'm gonna replace this one out here and I'm gonna hit delete and I'm gonna go ahead and place this tile in here because I wanna have a tile that has this method in here. And then one other tile or element in that series that I think is really helpful is the one when it comes to topic and background. So I can come in here, choose this one, come back in here and then paste this tile in here as well. So now I have a tile or a sheet that allows me to not only take notes using the Cornell method, but it also allows me to track the assignment out of that, a recap on the lecture. And then one other tile that I think is really helpful and unique to the Cornell method that we have is the summary one. This allows you to give it an in-depth recap of not only the notes that you took, the assignments that you have, but any brainstorming that you might have done through that. And these tiles can be utilized to customize your planning system however you so wish, and you can pull those elements into your daily planner, or you can use that weekly academic planner that we've already established for you. So if you're looking for an academic planner in OneNote, or you're looking for tiles to implement into your daily planner. It doesn't matter if it's a key to success planner or any other OneNote planner or even a journal or bullet journal that you might have. You can take these elements and utilize them as you may. Now the next thing I want to show you is PDF annotation apps. PDF annotation apps are just that. We have a planner that is a PDF. It's interactive and it's hyperlinked and you can download that off our website and you can pull that into several different applications. On the iPad, you can use like GoodNotes, NoteShelf, Nobility. On Android, you can use like Penly. If you have a Samsung device, you can use Samsung Notes. And there's several other PDF annotation apps that you can use. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use GoodNotes and how that looks. So you can see here, we're gonna jump in to our planning system. We have a dashboard. What this dashboard allows you to do is easily and quickly access any page throughout the planner. Now we showed you some of these things like the professional builder, the vision board, the bucket list, annual keys, the class schedule that we talked about before, as well as all your monthly planning, budget, expense, and habit tracking, as well as all your goals. From here, you can access any of those pages right from this key page. You can also use these hyperlinks here to navigate throughout the planning system. So if I wanna to get to the second week of August, I go to August and then click on the eighth and that'll take me to my weekly view. I can click key here or here and it'll jump me back to this page. You can see I have a spot for assignments and class notes. Here we have business 101, how to market cheese. If I go into that particular note page, it's gonna show me that note page, that class note page, and we can talk about how you can market cheese in the modern world. But anyway, going back to that key page, we can go ahead and access this page, access those notes and those assignments and easily uh, be able to navigate through the system. And that's one thing I really love about using these PDF annotation apps is they're kind of like a book. I can not only swipe through the individual pages or I can use the hyperlinks to easily navigate myself quickly through them. Now, we talked about elements and tiles using OneNote. Can you use them with PDF annotation apps? And the answer is yes, you can do that. And I'll show you how to do that now. So when it comes to using tiles with a PDF annotation app, you are gonna get a download from our website. You go ahead and download that onto your device. And generally speaking, in a downloads folder. You can see on the iPad here, we opened up the files tab and you can see we have our downloads folder. Inside of here, you can see we have tiles for student education and there's a PDF app images folder. And here, you're gonna see all the various elements. We call these tiles, and these are customizable 
pieces that you can use to build your own pages. So if I go back into GoodNotes, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a daily page. And I'm gonna to go to the third week in August, and here's that page. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the page sorter here, and you can see the particular page that I'm on is outlined in blue. From here, I'm gonna choose the drop down arrow and add page after. And then I'm gonna to choose to import, and I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder, pull up my tile for student education, pull up the app images, and the first thing I wanna do is I wanna find the template page. So the PDF education template. Click on that and then hit open. That is going to import that particular page now into my PDF planning system. And from here, I can turn the editing tool on and I can choose photo. And then I'm gonna to choose to insert from and again, I'm gonna to go to that downloads, pull up that very same folder, and here I'm gonna choose one of the tiles. Well, the first tile that I wanna use is I wanna pull in a half sheet of note paper. So click on that, and that is going to pull in that particular page. Now, just as I did with my custom page in my OneNote planner, I'm gonna continue through and build out this individual page. And once I've built that page out, I can go in and I can actually duplicate that page. I could even move that page. I could also export that page into another notebook or into another individual page inside the application. So you can go ahead and create the different tile layouts that you like, save them, and then kind of import them or place them as you need them as you move throughout the year with the planning system. So that makes, again, the ability for you to take any planner out there not only just the key to success planner, but any planner out there and personalize it and customize it. And if you're not into a planning system, but you wanna use the tiles to organize your thoughts and ideas and help take your notes in your class, I encourage you to do so. But with that said, I strongly encourage you to learn more about daily planning, especially when it comes to digital planning. There's so many additional reasons that allows digital planning to help enhance your life and definitely help you keep organized. These digital planners and the applications that you're using allow you to do so many things. Not only can you handwrite with a stylus, you can go ahead and copy those notes from one page to the next. If you have a to-do list and you weren't able to finish it, you can copy out those to-dos and simply paste them into the next day. You can highlight stuff, and I find this really exciting, especially when I have a side-by-side -side screen. I could have, like, say, a website open, and I could have notes open on the other side, and I could be reading through different information, even a book for that matter, textbooks that I have built on my device, and be taking notes and journaling the thoughts and ideas so that later when I go back to study, I can reference those notes and easily, hopefully, retain the information that I need to not only accomplish the task at hand, but to allow me, many years down the road, be able to search those notes if I have to ever look up that information again. And the part that's even get more exciting is with our planning system, you don't pay for a subscription. Like a paper planner, you purchase it and you have it for life. So these notes that you take with you, you're gonna take with you for the rest of your life. And they're available across every single device that utilizes the applications that you chose to. So with that being said, again, I encourage you to like this video, share it with some friends, share it with some family. And if you wanna learn more about digital planning, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions for me, the planning system, or how you can be better organized in your career success, go ahead and hit the comments myself or somebody I'm sure will reach out to you. I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System. And guys, thank you for taking a few minutes. And gals, thank you for listening for the last few minutes about our educational tile. I promise you it's going to make an impact as it's made impacts on many individuals through the five years that we've been doing this. And Lord willing, I'll see you guys all in the next video.